Um, I think what, what, what we really do need, and you know, there, there's, there's a slight risk of the industry sounding a bit like a broken record here, but it, it is certainty of direction of travel. It's certainty around where they, how the current LCF overspend came to be. Let's see real transparency around the assumptions and the contracts that have gone into the current 1.5 billion overspend. So industry knows the starting point, if you will. Then let's look at how that's going to be set over the coming years. Those provide immediate investment signals and around the different technologies that are going to be in the market. Then let's look at where we're going around uh, the capacity market. Let's look at how we're dealing with the outcomes of Paris and the outcomes of the fifth carbon uh, budget. And then start building up a structure that lasts over one single parliamentary term and actually gives us this direction of travel, this pathway, if you will, to 25, 30 and out to 50, obviously, in, in the end game. But I think a, a sort of a real call from us is this isn't about the five years of this parliament. I can start thinking about investing in a new CCG today, but actually the cycle from conception to commissioning is about seven years. So I'm already looking at projects that are going to be falling in the early 2020s. So this is a multi-parliamentary issue with energy, it always has been and, and will continue to be so, at least you know, for the next decade. And I'd also like to get back to the situation where we can get cross-party support. And those elements linked together will start rebuilding the confidence that we need.